Hey gents, today I wanna to talk about how to make your shoes last forever and make sure you get the most bang for your buck in footwear. A few months ago, I brought together over 20 brands of minimalist leather sneakers and really showed how you could go from the $40 to $50 Stan Smiths up to the $400 Common Projects and what you get in each of those price points. But whether you're going with the Common Projects or you've got an old shoe like my greats here or you've got something new like these new Ace Marks, I wanna talk about how to make these shoes last forever based on having experience with all these shoes. Whether you're shopping for shoes right now, I'll give you some recommendations there. Whether you're just opening some new shoes, you wanna make them last for a while, or you have some older shoes you wanna revive, I'll talk about all of those in the next few points. As always, like and subscribe to keep videos like this coming, and let's talk about where to start, and it is with quality. So you need to start with quality shoes in order to get the most life out of them. You want to look for high quality materials, and that's what's really exciting about this space right now, is you used to be able only to get some of this full grain calfskin leather shoes up in the common projects in the luxury range for hundreds of dollars, but now with brands like Greats or Ace Marks, you can get full grain leather, margam soles, wax canvas laces, and a fully calf lined interior for less than $200, which is excellent. So the big thing to start with is going to be the leather. Full grain leather wears over time very nicely. It develops a beautiful patina and you can condition it like you would with a fine pair of leather shoes. The other thing to keep in mind is that you want to have solid margam soles. And if you look at the bottom of the sole, you'll see the margam logo right there, a little kind of stylized M. It doesn't have to be Margam soles, although those are usually the standard in some of these shoes because those use a very dense, very high grade rubber, which reduces the wear over time. So I've had these shoes for two plus years. I wear them all the time. And you can see there's not much wearing on the heel. There's a little bit, but I've had, if I still had some of my skate shoes from when I was in high school, those ones that I was buying for like 40, 50 bucks, I would show you that I used to wear these shoes right off. They would scuff very, that's the way that I walk. I just can't help it. And these shoes would have a hole in them right here. I used to wear through shoes all the time. So if you go with high quality dense rubbers, Margum is one of the easiest ways to figure out if it's a nice sole. And if you look at the New Republic shoes that I reviewed, they have uh, an undefined inner lining and they also the rubber is not so sure on those. That's why you're seeing them at the lower price point. That's why I think that when you look at greats around that $160 price point, this is where you wanna to start to look for quality shoes. That's also what brings me to Stan Smith's. Stan Smith's you can definitely get a deal on, but because they use lower quality leathers and rubbers, those will usually wear out. So a pair of nicer quality leather sneakers can outlast three to four pairs of Stan Smith's. And for me, I'd much rather have one great pair of shoes than three or four mediocre pairs of shoes. And when you have a full grain leather shoe, you can use high quality leather conditioners and even polishes in order to keep them looking very good. I have some stuff here that I got from Kirby Allison. You can use a horsehair hanger brush or even a Saphir, like I even have Saphir at Renovateur that I've used on these shoes before. So when you have quality leather, you can use conditioners and polishes in order to keep them good. I'm keeping my eye out on Carl Morowski's channel right now. He's doing something with all kinds of leather conditioners and things. And so uh, I'll link to that once that video comes out. I just want to touch on canvas and fabric shoes. Those shoes are made to be a lower price point and they will last a long time, but they're very difficult to keep looking fresh and new. So this pair of greats here, I've been wearing for about a year and a half and with some easy care, they look just almost as good as when they came out of the box. There's a little bit of like creasing on the leather. Uh, the soles are obviously dirty, but I have pair of Supergas, which are canvas, and those are four years old, and they still hold together, but they're really, they, I can't clean them anymore. Uh, they're starting to kind of fall apart. So good soles, good leathers equals longevity, and so all those like hype beast shoes and the Nikes and things that people are snatching up, uh, they're not gonna be that great long-term, which is why people keep them in the box. That's a whole different story. And last, talking about quality materials, having a calfskin lined interior is very important. It naturally wicks away moisture and it's designed in order to get that moisture away from your foot. The reason that you have like smelly shoes is the fabric on a lot of lower end shoes will absorb the moisture and the smell and the odor. And then over time it builds up. But with leather shoes, I barely ever wear socks with these in the summer and they still, they just smell like leather. A caveat to that, and one of the tips in order to keep shoes looking very good is to use cedar shoe trees just as the way that you would in a leather dress shoe. So the cedar shoe tree is designed to go into the shoe and to absorb the moisture that is already in the shoe and also help to keep its form. So you shove this in there, it'll help keep the toe shape very nice, it'll help to reduce the wrinkles over time, and you wanna keep them pretty fresh. I bought this from uh, Beckett Simonon. They had a pack once where they're all made in the USA cedar shoe 
trees. They ended up being a good price per unit. They're not listed right now on the website. Uh, but let me know where you get some great shoe trees. I've grabbed some from Amazon before and I've been pretty impressed with them. But use shoe trees in your leather sneakers in order to make them last for a while. And with that calfskin lining, it brings me right back to the Stan Smiths, which also have a fabric interior, which is why over time those things start to stink and smell because your feet are stinky. And also those New Republic shoes I talked about, they're sub $100 shoes. They're great for that price point, but they're not leather lined on the interior. And so you would have a similar problem as Stan Smith's. And another tip to keep your shoes looking very sturdy is to use a shoe horn. So some of these sneakers now will come, like Ace Marks sent me one of these, but use a shoe horn so that you keep the integrity of the back of the shoe strong. If you slip in and out, that'll destroy the integrity of the shoe and then it won't fit as well over time. And then you'll feel like you have to replace them. But if you use a shoe horn as you slide your foot in, that'll keep this nice and sturdy in the back, which helps to add to the longevity of the shoe. So there you have it, gents. Let's recap what you're looking for in a great pair of long lasting sneakers. You want to look for high quality materials, full grain or calfskin leather. You want to look for high grade, durable rubber on the bottom, particularly margum soles, especially because they have separated insoles, which you can replace. And then also you want to look for inner linings, which are calfskin or leather as well. You want some leather conditioners and or polishes like saddle soap. And even some of these sneakers look really good. Like M Gemini has a great looking like hand finished patinaed shoe. And if you get one of those, you can keep those up by using nice polishes and nice leathers. And I'm working on some of that as well. And two easy accessories to make sure you're extending the life of your shoe, cedar shoe trees to make sure you're getting all moisture, odor, and keeping the form of your shoes on there. And then also a shoe horn so that you can make sure you're keeping the integrity of the back of the shoe to make it last as long as possible. There you have it, gents. If you want to check out that video, I'll link to everything I can below. If you have any questions down in the comments, I'm always down there. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And I appreciate your support. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.